Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, good night to you all today. Welcome to the first podcast of Welcome to the Cast Kit, sponsored by Glitzgrave. Check out glitzgrave.com for more. It is your boy, it's your host, Ghost. The host with the most of both. Let's have a toast later on tonight. Um, I guess we're going to do the first kind of hybrid. Maybe it's a mix of motivation and I am affirmations. I'm actually going to be going to the gym for a small workout right after this. So I figured just to hit the record button and get myself pumped up at the same time, help anyone that is listening to this uh whether that be swinging the day and like swinging the day back into your favor um or just getting that little bit of uh positivity into your life when you probably need it the most Um, as you can tell this is not professional by any means this is the first one um this might be a train wreck hopefully it's not but it's one of those situations where you know, you hit the record button and now I'm flustered and now I'm nervous. Like now the time matters. It's showtime versus like there's a lot of times where I'm just walking around my place and I'm having these random spurts of motivation, these random uh, things of like inspiration. And I'm just literally talking to myself and I'm like, damn, this could be cool if this could reach other people as well. But now that I hit the record button, wow, now I'm flustered. Now I have to, like, make sure this sounds good and make sure I don't say um all the time. But it is what it is. Whatever. Again, this is the first. Hopefully, I don't cringe too much when I edit this later. But whatever. Anyway, here we go. For the most part, I'm going to be not only talking to me. I guess I should just scrap that part out, but actually keep it in. Editor, me. Anyway, um... My audience is the listener, and it is also myself. So everything that I'm saying to you, I'm also applying to myself because when it comes down to it, it comes back to self. I do not know everything. I am not a licensed licensed professional. I don't know everything. I am simply trying to learn, trying to unwire and rewire, establish new wires into my brain into my lifestyle because i want the best for myself i want to reach the next level and i feel like i have to apply it to myself first before i even relay to someone else because i am my own worst critic i am my own worst enemy i get inside my head all the time but i am open and ready to receive i am open to learning i am open to fucking up and learning from the fuck ups because i want to be better so here we go. I, first of all, I guess to try to make this a little bit more uh, ground to earth or down to earth, ground to earth, what? Grounded and down to earth. Look at those words just blending together. Is that dyslexia? I have no idea. Um, for the past few days, I have been feeling a little funky, right? I have a to-do list i have things i need to accomplish i have things that will get accomplished but i do feel overwhelmed uh the weather is changing it's sporadic in the midwest on and off it could be chilly and then all of a sudden sweltering hot within the same day a snowstorm literally could happen at any given moment i've seen it happen and it's just one of those things to where you really can't prepare for everything that is coming your way on a day-to-day basis I don't know if I'm supposed to be regulating my emotions and my moods as intently as I'm led to believe, I guess, or not so much led to believe, but like, you know, like I do have some emotional irregularity and I would like to, you know, have some sort of regulation with it. That way I can go about my days in a more clear manner. But now... I'm getting to a point to where, is that supposed to be a thing I'm supposed to be doing? Maybe I'm supposed to be chaotic. Maybe I'm supposed to be balls to the wall. Maybe I'm supposed to be this. Maybe I'm supposed to be that. Because I'm trying to establish an I am. And here come the garbage truck being loud as ever. I hope the noise cancellation does wonders. Because, man, every time I try to record around this time, 
this man just maybe it's me maybe i'm the problem in this situation <laughs> oh you know what that's a good laugh that's a good healthy laugh um if you see my videos you know exactly what i'm talking about just every time i record this garbage man is just on time maybe i should just record in the afternoon or maybe record at the crack of dawn like i keep trying to tell myself to do anyway i'm i'm going with the flow you know i'm feeling funky i'm feeling a little bit I don't want I don't want to, I don't know if the word is slighted or I don't know just like I'm questioning a lot more every day and all I'm trying to do is go about every day with a clear mind a clear goal a clear flow of this is what I'm doing today and it will be accomplished Jesus it's like the garbage man is wrestling outside <laughs> <coughs> wow. Oh, God. <coughs> this is a beautiful first podcast. <laughs> and hiccup the hiccups. Oh, wow. Look at this. Give me a second. Okay. Hopefully, we are back into the swing of everything, even though I know the garbage man is not quite done, but that's okay. <sighs> I've been in a funky mood, and that's okay. It's okay not to be okay. We've heard the saying before, and as i don't want to say it's a cliche because there's actually a lot of truth to that um me feeling funky must have a purpose i'm also trying to see this i guess quote unquote trying time as a test as an obstacle because the universe does know my intention with what i'm trying to do with my life i'm trying to reach the next level and i will reach the next level it doesn't matter what kind of mood i am i know that i'm going to accomplish my goals my dreams my visions my aspirations and i will be present when opportunities come my way i will not fold like i've done in the past because i am not my past i learn from my past to where my present is better than what the past was and my future is automatically going to look more sparkly that's not even grammatically correct don't give a damn it's going to be more fruitful my abundance is on its way and i am excited for it and i will be present and show up for it when it arrives i will be more than ready there's only so much preparation i can do as far as you know planning things prepping things uh thinking things before they even happen logically thinking that is you know what sometimes you just gotta dive into shit sometimes you just gotta go head first and s fuck around and find out because my intention is to grow my intention is to love nurture be a better form coming out of an old shell of mine to rise from the ashes like the great mythological phoenix and yes this might sound over dramatic again don't give a damn i'm an aries this is what i do and you know what you know what's crazy i like was shown away or i shot myself away from like thinking like that being over dramatic or just being dramatic period i've been told uh you're too much i've been told you're you're over the top um you're like too passionate or whatever and i deem that as a bad thing i turn that inward and i get in my own way i get in my own head i stop the blessings that literally are bestowed within me from birth you know what i'm saying if i'm over dramatic good if i'm over passionate good if i'm over the top good that's just who i am this is just me being natural it's not saying that I'm going out of my way to do such. No, this is naturally how I am. This is how the cosmos and this is how the universe and my spiritual guides deemed me to be because it serves a purpose because somebody out there loves who I am. And if no other person outside of me loves who I am just the way that I am, guess who loves me just the way I am? Me. I am being more appreciative of what I do, what I am, and I know my intention with this life that I have. I know the purpose of what I want to do with this life that I have. Once upon a time, I didn't want to live anymore. And once upon a time, wasn't that far off. 
it was maybe like a year ago. I definitely had a, a darker phase or a darker like pocket of time to where it was more consistent, but through having healthier options, having healthier outlooks, healthier resources, I've learned to accept that I have a bigger purpose in this life. I'm an entertainer. I am a bundle of energy, chaotic energy, beautiful energy, over the top energy, over dramatic energy, and I love that about me. It's what makes me unique. And I'm just speaking myself uh, upon myself. I am unique in my own indu individualistic way. So are you. You are unique in your own way. You are unique in your own special, beautiful, magical, magnificent way. And don't let anybody tell you that you are too much for something. They are just too much. You are too much for them. You are not too much for you. You are the way that you are for a reason. Somebody's going to love you. And if no one else outside of you loves you, guess who should love you? You. You. Because you matter. Don't let anyone tell you that you do not fucking matter. Who are they? Don't let them be a reflection of yourself. Let yourself be a reflection of yourself. That's why you look at a mirror, right? You see yourself. When you look in a mirror, you don't see other people. And if you do, maybe it's another form of yourself. It could be the past. Hopefully it's not. But sometimes you look into a mirror and it is a past reflection of yourself. And if that's the case, ask yourself... The question, are you happy with that? Are you content with that? What do you want out of this life? What do you want? What do you need? What do you require? Those questions right there, ask yourself. Ask yourself and be that for yourself before you go looking for it in other people or trying to have validation or verification from outside sources. Everything should come back to self. Because you do matter. You have so much gift. You have so much magic. You have so much blessings in you that you don't even know. And the one way to find out or the one sure way to start to find out is to fuck around and find out. You have to keep living. Don't take yourself out the game just yet. I know life is hard, man. We are with challenges and struggles every single day, whether it be from outside influence like social media for the biggest part. It's not the, the only part. It's one of the biggest ones just because it's so prevalent, but it could be from family. It could be from friends. It could be from jobs. It could be from circumstances. It could be from, you know, other personal things. But here's the thing. Let's say you were locked into a room, right? Uh, uh, it could be a light room, dark room, don't give a damn what the room is. It's just you by yourself in this room. And you are bestowed a couple questions. You are bestowed, what do you want? What do you need? What do you require? What do you like? To even make this even more illustrative. If you were a small child, if you were young you, Right. If you were a baby version of you, adolescent version of you, and you were bestowed a bunch of toys, not even a bunch of toys. Let's see, even dwindle it down to a little bit. You were bestowed just, just a small little handful of toys. Right. It could be building blocks, action figures, Barbie dolls, uh, a, a pony, uh, a, a fucking piano. Don't matter. Right. You as a small child, you're going to gravitate to stuff that you like. What do you like? Notice how I asked what you like and not what other people like. What social media likes. We're not, at, we're not talking to them. Because they can easily sway and get us away from what we want and what we are and what we would like to do. What we require. Because we are looking to the windows of other people's lives and souls. We don't need that. What do you like? What do you want? Who are you? Start with that one. Who are you? And if you don't know, get to know them. Start to get to know them. 
there is so much in this vessel that we call bodies and i'm not trying to get religious i'm not trying to to, to convert you to anything i'm just asking the questions that need to be asked and i'm doing it in a very i guess what i call a an aggressive positive way <laughs> you know because it's just being blunt i'm asking these questions because these questions are not being asked enough and maybe they are not asked as intensely enough intensively enough who are you what do you want to do? What do you want to be? Where do you want to go? What do you want to do in this one life that you have? I don't know about you. I've spent enough time wasting time because of outside influences like social media. I just want to fit in. Or this is going to seem weird. This is going to not be cool for everybody. Guess what? If it ain't cool for you, is it even worth doing? Who are you trying to please? Several billion people? You're going to get tired. You're not going to be yourself either. And you're going to rot in the fucking ground with regret. And what ifs? Why don't you do it now? All that time that you wasted, why don't you make up for it now? Because I'm going to tell you right now, people are going to be talking about you. Whether you do the right thing or the wrong thing. You can do everything right in the world. And you can still be villainized by the masses. That's just how the current state of life is. And when I say life, I'm talking about life regarding like social media or trying to fit in or trying to look cool or do what's... Do the right thing, I guess, by societal means and societal norms. Luckily, I am in the phase of my life to where I am getting out of that. I'm not out of the woods yet, but compared to where I was a year ago or hell, a few years ago, I am slowly removing myself from societal norms and that societal mold to where I said, fuck that. It's about me now. And I'm not saying this in a selfish way. I am putting myself first because for the great majority of my life, I have put others before me. And yeah, not to say that I don't like helping people. I love helping people. I love being there for people. I love gifting to people. I love being people's like by their side, loyalty and everything like that. But there also have been situations in my life to where even my closest confidants even the closest people whether that be friends or family have done wrong that have left some scars some spiritual emotional mental scars you know what it's my time now everything that i was doing for other people i am now doing for myself i am going to provide what i require and if people don't like it that is a personal issue for them it is not a personal issue for me because my intent is good. My intent is to grow. My intent is to love. I am not here to hate on motherfuckers. I don't care. You focus on your life and I'm going to focus on mine. Do not come into this lane. This lane is designated for me. If you try to merge into my lane, you will get run over. And I'm not saying this in a, in a threatening way. I am not saying this in a, you know, like... A harassment kind of way or like a violent way i'm just saying i gave you the warning i am trying to fix me i am trying to like learn and unlearn love and unlearn uh, unlove certain things about me i am trying to be better for me not for others i am trying to be better and reach to the next level for me if you can't respect these boundaries and these barriers and these these Oh my gosh, man. You know what I'm saying? If you can't respect that, stay back. Don't come over here. If you come over to where you're not invited, you're going to face the consequences. I have gave you the warning. That's the mentality that I have. Don't get me wrong. I am open to love. I Love is one of the most amazing emotions and amazing things that you can have in your life i feel like a lot of love is missing in the world in society and stuff like that but i had to also tell myself i cannot save the world the way that i am i gotta love me first and then the right 
love and the right people, the right circumstances, opportunities will come my way because I move with love. I live with love. It ain't going to be perfect every time, and that's fine. But as long as I remember my intent, I'm doing the right thing. You're doing the right thing. Do the right thing for yourself. Don't do the right thing for social media. Don't do the right thing for society. Don't do the right thing because of your family. Don't do the right thing because of your partner. Don't do the right thing because of your friends. Do the right thing for you. When you are left by yourself, and I don't wish this upon anybody, but it's let's say everyone leaves you for whatever reason. Maybe you've already gone through that, depending on the listener. If everyone left you and all you have is yourself, what are you going to do? I don't know about you. I'm going to love myself. I'm going to keep it pushing. I'm going to love myself. I'm going to do right and abide for myself, by myself, because I know what I want. I want a beautiful home. The home that I live in right now is beautiful because I make it beautiful. It used to, a year ago, it was barren, it was boring, it was not fun for me. It was not conducive to joy, it wasn't conducive to growth, it wasn't conducive to whatever I needed it to be at the time. And I set aside time and made it beautiful. This barren apartment, I now love. And I can't wait for the next home that I'm gonna, I'm gonna have. Cause I'm gonna manifest it, I'm gonna make it so. I'm gonna be who I have to be. I'm gonna have to do what I have to do to be present for the next opportunity. And so can you. I wasn't a firm believer of law of attraction. And again, I am not trying to sway you to believe that. You can believe what you wanna believe. And I'm not, I'm, I'll be fine with that. You believe in, if you're a Christian, cool. Catholic, cool. Protestant, cool. Atheist, cool. Agnostic, cool. Whatever. I don't, Muslim, cool. I don't care. But you have to believe in like, there's got to be a, a certain higher power that has your greatest good in mind. That keeps you sane. That keeps the peace in your heart. That keeps the peace in your soul. That makes you dream. That makes you have that childlike dream. You know what I'm saying? When children dream and have imaginations, that's the great, that's one of the most innocent, purest, and greatest feelings in the world. Just because you're an adult does not mean you you had to abandon that. Yeah, we were wired to probably believe that as we're growing up. Oh, you gotta do this, you gotta do this, you gotta do this, now that you're an adult. Guess what? I'm a grown ass child. I'm having the most fun I've ever had. You can do the same. My next home, I can't wait, man. But I got to do, I got to set the foundation for it. I got to plant the seeds for that to happen. Faith without works is dead. That is a quote that I heard from Steve Harvey uh, like several years ago. And man, that line stuck with me. Faith without works is dead. So I'm going to wrap this up because now I'm motivated. Now I'm ready for this cardio session I'm about to have. I hope these words, at least some of these words, maybe not the whole thing. I hope some of these words hit you i hope they woke up something within you because you are worthy of everything that you dream about everything that you stay up for everything that you vision envision for that you're inspired by whatever your goals are i hope these words can be a catalyst for you to have an amazing day and i mean that that was good I'm patting myself on the back. Thank you all so much for listening to Welcome to the Casket. Welcome to the Casket. Did I say that right? Again, this is the first time. Um, I'm going to be more, I guess, professional with like having a prompt, with having an outline of some sort. This is kind of just shooting from the hip. Um, this was fun. I'm feeling really good about this, and this tells me that this is a good idea to do. Um, my vibe is like, you are doing an amazing job. Some... These words are going to hit somebody today, and I just want everyone to have a great time with their life. You know, you may have had a shitty few days, shitty few weeks, months, years, whatever. Guess what? It could sway into your favor right now. It could sway into your favor later today, tomorrow. You know what? You just got to believe. You just got to hold on. You just got to be in your own corner. Cheer yourself on. Your younger self. Your young, your childlike self. 
Your inner child is rooting for you. I promise. I know mine is. And I'm going to make them proud. I love y'all. If you enjoyed this, be sure to, to, to follow this podcast. This is also sponsored by Glitchgrave, which is my uh, business name, I guess. Brand name. Brand umbrella, I guess. Check out Glitchgrave.com for more stuff that I do because there's a lot. There's probably some stuff I need to slow down on, but I'm always doing stuff. I'm on my entrepreneur shit. Thank you all for following me on this new journey. Um, check out another podcast that I'm on for the anime, wrestling, and what else? What else is that? Uh, random topics that me and my brother, son Rondu, talk about. Fuse and Struggle podcast. It is also on the website, glitzgrave.com. It may also be in the description of this podcast. But it has been your boy. It's been your host with the most to boast. Ghost. I need to work on that. Um, thank you for listening. I love you. And I'm always going to end with no matter how much it hurts, move forward. Take care, y'all.